Good morning, Deb Watson here. This morning we'll be painting a snowy sunrise, that magical glow just before the sun comes up. The colors we'll use are an orange mixed with a blue, yellow, and brown if you need it. First do a drawing or trace your outline for the main lines. The first step is wetting the background down to the snow line. Go right over the trees and wet the entire area. While the water is soaking in, mix puddles of your colors for the sky. Start with a bright yellow. I'm adding a tiny bit of brown, but you could use gold or orange also. To make the middle a little bit lighter, lift up some of the color with a just damp brush or just dab some up with the paper towel. While the sky is still damp, add your background trees with brown. I'm adding in a little orange and a tiny bit of blue to make brown, but feel free to use a tube brown also. Test a spot to see how far it will spread. If it spreads too far, let the wash dry for another minute or two. I'm starting on the right, and as I paint across, I, I wipe most of the paint out of my brush so that as I go toward the middle, the trees get lighter in color. The left side trees are all one color. If they're too dark, lift some color off. If they're too light, you can add more color later. If you want texture in your trees, you can spatter the drying area with clean water. That makes intentional blooms. Or you could sprinkle the area with table salt. While the trees dry, give your water a first coat of color. Add a little bit of orange but make sure you keep the first coat of color fairly light. This water will end up having a lot of variety, but the first coat is kind of the unifying color. Dry well. To add a little bit of shading on the snow, start with the very light blue, very watery. If you want to gray it down, you could add a touch of brown or orange, or just stick with the blue. Once again, wet the area with clean water down to the water line so that it's just damp. Paint blue across the top of the horizon line. Then wash out your brush and use your clean, damp brush to pull some of the blue down. Because I only want a hint of color, I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe most of this off. Also paint the front snow masses with a light shading of blue. To make your snow look real, all you need is a little bit of color with no hard edges. Also paint a thin strip along the top of the river. The strip should be light blue, and if you can, put a dark blue line at the top. Now I'm going to add a second layer of color to my trees. If your trees are dark enough, skip this part. You may not need a second layer. But I'm mixing the same tree color again, just a little bit darker. What you want for background trees, you don't want them too dark or too solid looking. You want variety. Often, just adding a little darker color to the bottom of the tree mass is all you need. I'm working on dry paper Try to keep your edges soft. 
For the second layer of color on the water, I'm adding a lot of bright orange. Hmm, this still isn't orange enough, so I dip right into the orange paint and keep going. When you're happy with the background, it's finally time to paint the bare trees. Mix a light, medium, and dark brown, with the dark brown being almost a black. Try to get a lot of variety in your bare trees. If you vary the color and value from black to brown to orange, you'll get much more interesting trees. Paint the trees darker, especially as they come down to the ground. I'm imagining the light is coming in from the left, so I'm adding a brighter orange to the top of the main tree on the right and still getting darker as I go down. That makes it glow with the sunrise. Paint a variety of thick trees, thin trees, and some very thin limbs. The farther away the trees are, the lighter in color they'll be. You can put in as many trees as you like. You can even add a few grasses. At the bottom of the tree, use a little blue or gray to indicate the tree well in the snow. To finish the water, paint a dark line between the water and the snow and a dark line under each snow mass. We want the water to be fairly dark with an orange glow in the middle. It's easier if you wet the water first and then start with dark paint from the right side, dark paint from the bottom, and dark paint from the left side and leaving the orange in the middle. When that dries, you can add reflections directly below the trees. Use leftover color if you want to suggest a few grasses or distant birds flying in the sky. very tiny and light. The birds add a sense of movement to this quiet landscape. Evaluate and darken any areas that have faded. And if you want falling snow, spatter it with an opaque white paint. Using just a few colors gives you a professional look and makes painting simple. Try painting several cards with a variety of colors. A simple landscape like this is a great way to jumpstart your painting. One student told me she wasn't crazy about this lesson when we started, but once she finished it, it was her favorite lesson from the whole class session. 
So give this a try, and I hope your cards turn out great. Happy painting!